When you look at the film on your team, statistically you guys are top 15 in most every major category. Do you see what you feel to be the top 15 caliber? I don't care about the other 14. I know what good defense looks like. I know what practice looks like. I know what preparation looks like. And, you know, I think we're, we're getting there. You know, I think our guys are take a lot of pride in what they put on tape. They took a lot of pride in how we practice out there, and that's all connected to our improvement, and that's what's happening right now. What, what has stood out about the stretch, I guess, the last four games since the bye week, the, the elevation of the defense? What, what stands out to you in that span? Consistency, practice, uh, preparation, um, guys being unselfish, you know, guys practicing punt team and chasing the ball down 40 yards, guys being on time and early and just working together, you know, I mean, those are the, listen, success looks a certain way and it's not really complicated, but it's really hard to attain. And I'm not saying we're where we want to be, but I'm saying we're taking the steps to get there. Yeah, I think, um, but we're still practicing the same amount, you know, and we're still, um, we're still pushing them on the practice field. You know, they're still lifting, they're squatting on Sundays, you know. So, yeah, I think some of the, the totals have gone down um, for sure over the last month. Um, but we try to make sure with what we do with our GPS numbers and what we do with our training that, you know, we keep them at a certain p place uh, from a, from a um, just workload, you know. So, yeah, I don't think it hurts. I think it's, it's helped to be able to get some other guys in the game. Um, but, you know, I think the total play number obviously has been affected. DJ Lundy had a handful of really nice plays in space uh, on Saturday. He had at least one nice one in practice day downfield. I guess what is he playing faster? Is he playing just more? Uh, well, we what, what's happening? we made a big deal this summer that I mean he he dropped about 15 pounds and that stayed off, and so that just helps him play a little bit faster and it keeps him in better condition throughout the season. So I think we're just seeing that, and you know we've kind of rotated three to four linebackers, you know, so it's helped us stay a little bit fresher. So I think that's all part of seeing it. And, you know, listen, he played as a true freshman. He probably wasn't ready, but a lot of those guys did. And last year he played as a redshirt freshman. Now he's a sophomore. So you're starting to see what it's supposed to look like. Usually those guys don't play that quickly. He did. Um, and now you're starting to see that pay off a little bit. Coming into the season, questions about can they replace what Jermaine Johnson did for them last year. I think you guys have as many sacks as y'all did last season. How do you think you guys were able to match that total already? Uh, just playing complete defense, probably. You know, just, uh, listen, Jared's brought some one-on-one -on -one wins to us for sure. Uh, but I think we probably had maybe a few more linebacker sacks. Uh, I think our safeties have been a little bit more involved in the rush game. Uh, I think our coverage has been tighter and better and more connected. So those all go into it, you know. I'm not going to sit here and measure our sacks last year versus this year and how long it took for each sack. But that probably has an equatable number to it. Um, you know, I, I think our guys have done a solid job, but I'd like to get a bunch from Friday night. Where have you seen Greedy Vance develop the most since the beginning of the season? Yeah, I think anytime you come into a new program, you know, he's played Division One football, so he played with good play speed. But just, he's a grinder. And, you know, what I mean by that isn't a negative. He's got legitimate quickness, skill, ball skill, good technique. But, you know, grinders win because they stay consistent and they show up every single day, whether you win four straight, lose three straight, or anything in between. And you know, he's a product of that. So I think that that's why he has success. Are Louisiana's offense and Florida's similar, given some of the coaching uh, carryover, I guess? Yes. <laughs> is that unique to have that back-to-back -back like that? Is, he is it unique to play a team whose head coach left and went to the next team you're playing back-to-back -back weeks? Yes. Is it unique for them to have the same offense when they hired the offense coordinator and head coach? No, but it's unique for this situation for sure. You've probably seen Anthony Richardson on his good days and his bad days on film, but what is he capable of on his good days? He's capable of throwing the ball 75 yards in the air. I mean, he's got as strong as an arm as anywhere in the country. You know what I mean? When you see the ball come out, he looks like a major league third baseman. I mean, it's effortless. The ball just pops off his wrist, and I mean, just tell our guys, number one, he breaks tackles back there and keeps plays alive, which is dangerous because he can reach 70 yards. So if the if guys are scrambling around back there and the routes keep going down the field, you better stay connected because he can get it there. And, um, you know, I mean, for him to have major runs, you know, that LSU run, he broke out for, uh, he could have run for 200 yards on that play. 
Um, and then, you know, some of the things he's done throwing the football, you know, I think he's playing at a high level. Sometimes the defensive tackles don't have the, the stats that the GMs have and some of the other guys. So what, what does Fabian do that maybe people don't notice that, that makes this defense that, that really helps him? Yeah, I think you could put Fabian and Robert Cooper in the same category when it comes to just what it looks like when you just turn the film on on defense. And, you know, our job on defense is obviously to get the ball back to the offense, not let people score. How do you do that? you got to eliminate space. Sometimes you do that by lining guys up in press. Sometimes you do that by when they try to block you and you push them back. And, I mean, but they just they hold points of attack. They knock blocks back. And then they can tackle the ball when the ball shows up. So, you know, those guys of – you know, three week, three years into this thing with development with JP and Coach Hagens, and you see the coaching show up, you see the effort show up, and then just their sheer, sheer size and physicality are critical for us in the run game. And Kalen Deloche is maybe one of the best linebackers in the country. He's one of my favorites. Um, I'm really proud of him. He wears number four. Um, he's from Savannah. You know, he's been somebody that I, I love, and he's one of, my, one of my favorites of all time. I really love that Kalen Deloge, boys.